Hi everyone! Welcome to Smile Saturday. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're finding something to smile about. It has been a uh, almost crazy week, kind of a crazy beginning to 2021, but we are still here and I have been able to find some things to smile about. <laughs> so welcome to Linda's Thrifty Life. If you're new here, I hope you enjoy what you see. I do lots of shares, some hauls, chit-chat, talk about my life, just, you know, crazy Linda is what I call me. <laughs> so, anyway, um, so since it's Smile Saturday, we're not going to talk about anything negative today. We're going to keep this positive. And um, with all that has happened, I often will choose a word for the year, and my word for this year is hope. And um, I usually let it kind of evolve and come to me, and it has definitely come to me that my word is hope. So join me in a year of hope. So um, as you can tell, I'm in the middle of changing out, putting Christmas away, I was doing so well. I had a bunch ready to go to do and I just crashed and didn't quite get as much done as I had hoped. I was working really hard in here and getting a lot accomplished and then I sort of had a slow down with all of the events of the week. But I will get back to it. And until I do, I probably won't be doing much crafting because that is really my main number one thing on my list is to get organized. Now I won't wait till I get the whole house organized or it would be two years from now <laughs> before I would craft again. But um, I am going to get this this room in a much better shape so that I can craft, enjoy it more, and it, and it be more efficient for me. So as I was going through my things and finding a few of my little um, Valentine stuff, and I have some more to find, I wanted to share with you a story from uh, like in the 80s. Um, I was a young mom and um, we, you know, struggled like a lot of people did, my husband John and I, and you know, paycheck to paycheck. And um, back then, uh, the country look got real popular, and that's when there was all the geese and the quilts and stuff. So I liked a lot of that. I never was a geese girl or a duck girl, but I did like a lot of the quilts and the different kind of kind of country looks. And I don't know if a lot of you remember, but they had those hearts. They were kind of squishy hearts. They weren't like you know, with a real pointy, they were kind of fat and squishy hearts. I don't have a picture of them. But um, I had mentioned something about wanting um, to get my husband to make me some of those cute little squishy hearts to hang on my kitchen wall. I mean, you know, <laughs> we, we really, you know, didn't buy a lot of things, you know, <laughs> essentials. So my dad, not having the faintest idea what squishy hearts were, came the next time they came to visit, he brought me this. And I was just thrilled. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. He cut it out of some wood and he painted it red. It's it's far from perfect. Got a big old crack in it. That's um, I don't know if it's always had that crack or if that's happened over the years. I can't remember. I am old. But I just, I never said a word that that wasn't the squishy heart <laughs> that I was looking for. So John did make me some squishy hearts. And I painted them and hung them in my kitchen and I loved them. But those wooden hearts are long gone. But you know what I still have? Yeah, the heart for my dad. And I'll have it until I'm gone. Because it just means so much to me that he listened. He didn't totally understand that it's perfectly fine that he didn't know what a squishy heart looked like. A country heart. I don't think I called it a squishy heart. A country heart. And um, that he made this for me. Just is a really um, 
special thing. So every year I bring it out at Valentine's Day, and um, I think about my dad and and how sweet and kind he was, and how he always tried to do special things for us. So to continue Smile Saturdays this year, I wanted to ask you some of the things that you might be interested in. I know so many of you loved the um, <laughs> trip to Paris we took for many Smile Saturdays. It was a joy for me to do that and share my pictures and my memories. And um, I had thoughts of this year maybe sharing some of my collections. I collect some vintage things and um, I've downsized a lot of my collections and I continue to do that but I still have some that I probably might be fun to share and if there's something else that you're interested in um, leave um, something in the comment below about something that you might like me to talk about discuss share with you my life is pretty much an open book <laughs> I wouldn't tell you all because it might be a little x-rated at parts, but <laughs> pretty much it's an open book. And um, and we'll see what we can do this year on Smile Saturdays. I really enjoy these days where I just kind of share my life with you and, and chit-chat. So that's about it today. I, um, I need to get back and finish putting up the Christmas. I know. Here it is. <laughs> January, what, 9th, 10th? Wait, I actually have a calendar someplace. Let's see what day it is. It is the 9th. Okay, Saturday, January the 9th. So not too bad for me. And um, it's, it's all in bins. I just, I have been going through it and making piles of stuff to take to the thrift shop. Because even as little as I did this year, I realized I want to do even less decorating next year. So most of my decorating will probably be in here um, so that it shows on the camera. And then my Christmas trees. Those are really my favorite things out, out in the living room. And then I do one in my bedroom, which I really love. And it stays up a long time because it's pink. In fact, I should, I should share that with you. Even though it's Christmas, it usually stays up to Valentine's Day because I love it and it's got all the pink and it's got a lot of hearts on it and stuff. So maybe one day, maybe one smile Saturday, I'll take you into my boudoir. <laughs> That's so scary. <laughs> it's, it's uh, Yeah, I'll share that tree with you. <laughs> How about that? So here's wishing you all a great weekend. Um, I'm just kind of taking it easy this morning. I did do a grocery pickup. Um, the COVID numbers are super duper high. Um, Mom and I just were able to put our names in to get on a list for COVID vaccine va um, reservations. Um, we filled them out and, and sent them in online. And um, so hopefully... Um, we don't know how long that'll be, but at least they have, you know, they have our names and, and our status. And, um, you know, mom is high, but I'm also her caretaker. So I should be able to get it hopefully at the same time as her. We put little notes on them. So we'll hope that works out. And, um, I mean, we still won't be like going around going, hey, I've had the vaccine. But we will be, <laughs> I think, a little feel a little safer and uh, so we will do that so that's it I mean it is kind of babbling away I need to take my little tree down I'm gonna miss it I'm gonna miss all my Christmas this year but I will leave the pink and white tree up a little bit longer so wishing you a beautiful Saturday and I hope you found something to smile about I'll talk to you later bye now